In this tutorial, we're going to expand on some of the previous tutorials that we've been doing and add some text to a picture or a screenshot that we've taken before. So we're going to open the picture by clicking the start button and going to all programs and accessories and opening up paint. Now in paint, we're going to go ahead and click the menu button and click open. And we should see some of the things that we've been doing in previous tutorials. We don't necessarily have to open any more of these pictures. If you weren't following along with us before, you can just open up a sample picture or something else that you may have saved in here, or even take another screenshot with the print screen button on your keyboard and paste that in to paint. But we're going to open up the big screenshot that we opened in a previous tutorial. So we'll click on that and click open. And now we've got our big screenshot of our full screen desktop. So I'm going to scroll down so that I can see the start button down here. And what we're going to do today is add some text to it. So let's say we want to add some text to add some, some instructions to a picture. And we'll go ahead and take the text tool. So we hover over this little A here and you get the text tool. So we'll click on that. And then that changes our cursor into the text tool cursor. So if we click down here by the start button, you'll get a text tool box. So what we want to do is go ahead and type in there and we'll type in start button. And what we want to do is maybe change that font or change that color. So in order to do that, we'll go ahead and highlight the start button. And to highlight, you just click down with the left mouse button at the end of a word or the beginning of a word and you drag across the word and you can see that it highlights it. When we've got it all highlighted, we let go and now it's highlighted. So we can change the colors up here with the text tools menu. All these things up here at the top are the text tools menu. And let's say we want to change it to an orange. Now it's got an orange color to it. Um, so we want to unbold it because it was bolded for whatever reason. And we want to make it a little bigger. So we're going to make it a 20 font. So we could even change the font to just basic Arial. So now we've got start button in our thing. We've got the color that we want. We've got this bright orange. And what we want to do is take this text box and make it a little bit closer to the same size as our text. And that way, if we want to move the text around on the screen, we can move it wherever we want without the text box itself getting in the way. Because if it was big like this, then when we move it, we can only move it down this far. Whereas if I drag it in with the diagonal drag tool, see how when I put the mouse cursor on the corner of the text box, it turns into a two arrow slant or a two arrow diagonal. That means that we can change the size of the box. So we're going to change the size of the box and make it closer to the same size as this text that we typed. And then if I hover the mouse cursor over a different spot, I get a four arrow cross and the four arrow cross is the move tool. So when I move that, so now I can move it clear down to the bottom, whereas before I was kind of stuck up here at the top. So the closer you make the box to the size of your text, the easier it is to move around. So I'm going to go ahead and move that down and I am going to put it just kind of close to the start button. We'll just put it right there. And then when I let go of my mouse with the left mouse button, it lets go. If I click somewhere else on the screen, it locks that down into that spot. So now the text box is gone and that text is locked down there. If that's not in the right spot, if you didn't really want it there and you want to get that text box back, you can just hit the undo button up here in the corner. In fact, if anything that we do, if, if you kind of made a little mistake or you want to move it around or whatever, if you click that undo, it completely undoes the box and you can start over. I'm going to redo that because I kind of liked where it was at. And then we're going to save the picture like we usually do. So we'll want to click the menu button again and then save as and JPEG picture. Now we're going to say screenshot with text or screenshot text and go ahead and save. And now if we minimize that, we can see just like in our previous tutorials in the picture folder, we've got our little screenshot text here and you can see if you expand that up, start button is written on our start menu. So if we were going to send that to somebody and say, a little message on there, they would get that message if we sent them this file. And that's all we've got for today.